This 3D printer is cheaper than an Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, basically any game console, and it's actually really good. You may ask why I compared a 3D printer to a game console. Here's why, I really don't like gaming. And the fact that you can buy a 3D printer for less money than a game console is crazy for me because 3D printer is a tool that is capable of doing such a lot of things. And you know, game console, it really can do nothing special. When I was small, like that small, I have been playing with Legos all day every day. I have been making stuff since I remember and I always dream about having a 3D printer. Right now I have few 3D printers and those are so cheap that basically anyone can have a 3D printer. Also almost everyone have already made a video on YouTube about Ender 3, so instead of unboxing, assembling and everything, I want to talk about what I like and what I don't like about this printer so that if you want to buy one you will know what to expect. In fact, this is not the cheapest printer out there, I think that Anet A8 is even cheaper, but there is a huge difference in quality between Anet and Ender 3. There are no linear bearings but views that works with aluminum profiles. This is way more convenient solution and also it produces less noise. Creality took care of every small detail in this printer. All motor cables are right where they should be, perfect length. Fun for the electronics, protective cover of the power supply, extremely adhesive build plate, and all-in-one construction, unlike the CR10 where you have this additional box. All of those features for less than $200, that's what makes this printer so good. Assembly process is very simple, instruction is clear and detailed, it should take about 20 minutes to assemble it, there is slightly more work than with CR10, but a lot less than some DIY kits. Good thing about assembling printer by yourself is that you can get to know all of the components, so that when you need to fix your printer you will at least know something more about it. Surprising thing for me was heating up time of the build plate in this printer, it's even faster than the hot end. That's also a great thing because when I want to print something I don't have to wait a lot like with the CR10. At first it may seem that this is a small printer, especially compared to CR10, but the truth is that for most of the things you don't need that big printer. Bigger printer takes more space, it takes more time to heat it up and it's more power consuming. This became a big deal for me because of my new workshop. Sometimes I want to print things at my workshop, but sometimes I need this printer at home, so it's so handy for me that I can just easily grab this printer and carry it with one hand. Unlike the CR10, there is no additional control box that is quite bulky. That's one of the most important factors, how well this printer can actually print. Let's run some prints and find out! Here are some things that I had printed with this printer, also most of the parts for my 3D printed snowmobile were printed on this printer. That's again a really great feature, build play in this printer is literally amazing, everything stick to it perfectly, sometimes it's even hard to take off printed part. That's why I print most of the things without brim on this printer so I don't have to do any post processing. I think it became a standard, at least for Creality printers, that you have a spatula and cutters in the kit. And those two tools are super useful, but there is more than just that. There are some more spare parts just in case something bad happens to your printer. But just like any other cheap 3D printer, it's not perfect, somehow it is wobbling, but you can easily fix that with a piece of paper. Nozzle of the fan that cools down the print isn't as good as it should be, and it blows more to the heating block than to the print. And LCD doesn't look as good as on the CR10, probably the contrast isn't set it up properly. I'm using this printer for more than a month right now and those are all of the disadvantages I noticed so far. That's it! All of the reasons why in my opinion this is the best low cost 3D printer so far and it's even cheaper than most of the game consoles. So if you are looking for an inexpensive 3D printer, maybe you just found one. If you have any tips for others or questions about this printer, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, and now I'm gonna go print some stuff. Bye!